Hi, my name is Jason Nikoff, and I'm an associate professor at Tennessee State University. I want to thank you for joining us for episode two of our Soil Smart series. Today we're going to be talking about soil texture and drainage. So in order to talk about soil texture, we really have to talk about the particles that make up the soil, uh, specifically the mineral component of the soil. And these are the sands, silts, and clays. And you can see, based on the, the diagram, the relative proportions of each of those particles and how they relate to one another. And basically, the amount of each of these proportions is going to dictate the type of soil texture that we're going to find. So this is a soil textural triangle, and it's used by soil scientists to classify the texture of the soil based on those relative percentages of each of the three mineral components. And so you can see there's a number of different types of textures. Um, one of the ones that we look to as being of high fertility and good water movement is a silt loam. And you can see that's got relative proportions of each of the three uh, mineral types. Basically, we don't want anything that's got too much uh, sand or clay uh, because of the negative properties that each each one of those particles have um, so we want something more in the middle something uh, like I said is is similar to a silt loam now this is a good example uh, specifically when we're looking at the water that's available to plant roots if we look at the extreme ends if we start with the the sand um, you can see that there's a very uh, low amount of water that's uh, held within sand and that's because sand produces very large pores and so the water essentially just drains right through and so we've, we're only looking at about two inches of water per foot of soil. Now on the other extreme we've got the clay soil and while that has a, a pretty high ability to hold on to water um, around four to five inches of water per foot of soil it's not it's, it's rather stingy when it comes to releasing that water back to plant roots. It's going to hold on to that, it's going to absorb it, and it's not really going to be available. Now if we look at the uh, kind of the happy medium there is the silt loam. And so what we've got is a pretty good ability for that texture soil to uh, soak up and hold on to the water, but it also doesn't hold it so tightly that it's not available to the plant. So there's a lot of water within here that can be released back to the plant. It's not going to hold it as, as tightly as a clay and so that's going to give you the kind of the benefit of, of both worlds. Now one thing we can do uh, to look at the relative uh, ability of our, our soil to provide good water movement is to do a, a very simple perk test and so what you can see these are the different steps essentially you're going to dig a hole you're going to fill it with water and you're going to look and see how long it takes for that water to drain out of the hole and so essentially if you look at step five um, if the water drains at one to two inches per hour the soil is draining well if it's if it's too fast then likely um, you've got a lot of, of larger particles perhaps uh, sandy particles and so that's allowing the water to drain through. The plants really aren't able to, to access that water very well. If it's too slow, so below one inch uh, per hour, then you've got something that, that might be a poorly drained soil. And in those cases, maybe you have a lot of clay in that soil, um, but you will have some issues with the plant roots. A lot of plant roots don't like uh, remaining wet for very long. They need um, to have some air to allow oxygen um, into the roots and, and to help with, with uh, proper growth and development. So that's a, like I said, that's a very simple test to look at the, the relative drainage of your soil. So that wraps things up. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. My email and also my Twitter handle are available. And if you've got any further questions, I'd be happy to answer them anytime. Thank you very much, and have a great day.